Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. But for now, let's get into the video. Quick reminder to myself and to you. Why would we be with someone who doesn't fulfill our basic needs? Why? You, you want a provider. You want a provider. And you stay with that, with that person who doesn't even be there for you when you're not okay. The person who says, uh, no, I don't want to spend that much money on you. You see this, these rom-coms or something, and you're like, I want someone who cares about me that much. And then you're with someone who doesn't pick up the phone, doesn't care if you're upset, doesn't want to fix things, is not aware of his trauma, is not aware of his issues, is not working on it. Romance and relationships are supposed to be good, to feel good, and to be like, they're, you're supposed to be in awe of what the other person does for you and is willing to do for you. We do not accept the bare minimum anymore. Yeah, I think that's grievous. Since no one told you before, I'm gonna be the first one. I don't need to deal with you. You can be over there and me and my bare minimum can be over here. And since you've been fed lies and you're feeding lies to others, why don't I show you your future? I started the egg freezing process. I did some preliminary tests which showed that my egg count is really low. And I know a lot of women struggle with it. The biggest mistake people in their 20s are making, they're trying so hard to find love. Don't get me wrong, love is great. It feels great when you find somebody. However, your 20s are made for you. <laughs> for you to get to know who you are. Learn about yourself, travel, explore the world. And then one day when you're gonna be so happy with who you are and you're gonna be so content with your life, the right person is gonna come into your life that's gonna match that energy. Just did tell me that. That might affect my fertility. I do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option and neither should you. First of all, I'm not a dog that needs to be walked. But um, we didn't even start like the actual egg freezing. So it still might be that my eggs are high quality, but they are, there's just not a lot of them. Second, I have an espresso machine at home. Works fabulous. It's just, it's just so sad. I have been like crying the entire day. We're not doing drinks either. You're gonna try to get me drunk and take me back home. No, we are doing dinner. And you know, people say like, oh, you're not alone. This happens to so many women, but I mean, it feels really, it feels very alone, <laughs> lonely. You're gonna pick me up. We're gonna come to the restaurant. We're gonna see your table manners. We're gonna see what you order. We're gonna see, do you hold your chopsticks correctly? We're just gonna, you know, study you a bit. Like, I just feel this giant pain in my stomach right now. Okay, so dinner it is. How's your day going? <laughs> Oh, my day is going great, thank you for asking. Just by editing her three videos, I think I've said it all. And don't get me wrong, I'm not completely insensitive to women crying. But I can still say with all honesty, you did that to yourself. There's no one else to blame but you. And not only that, but I can also blame you for putting those women who listen to you in the same situation you're in. I have a question for the boys. How much does an oil change cost? That's a great question. Why are you asking the boys though? You should be asking the bear. I don't care what you guys say, this is a subtle sign that he is an ass and that you should immediately run. This one's petty, but I swear it's true. If you send him a photo of you where you're like looking nice and a nice photo for him and you send it over and he responds with only emojis, no words, or even worse, if no emojis, no words and he just likes it or loves it, puts a heart on it, that is a sure sign he's a low effort man he doesn't deserve you. I don't care. I believe it. I stand by this. Every single guy that has done this to me has turned out to be an asshole and not worth my time. Or maybe he was just not interested in you. That doesn't make him an a-hole. Or maybe he was just busy at work. And even being busy at work, he still took time to respond to your picture. It still doesn't make him an a-hole just because he didn't reply the way you wanted him to reply to you. I know you all like to pretend you're only dating rich guys, CEOs and men like that, but maybe he's just a mechanic and his hands were greasy. Maybe he's just a plumber and he was fixing a sink. He took time off whatever he was doing to reply to you. Just because you got butthurt by the way he replied doesn't make him an a-hole. It kind of makes you want. 
I swear to God, it's like a man's ultimate goal is to make you hate men or like never trust nobody ever again. Like they really take advantage when you start out with pure intentions, pure love. Yeah, because everything about you from your nose rings to your inflatable lips to your fingernails screams pure intentions and pure love. One of my married friends told me that when you get married, your husband or your wife or whoever you're marrying when you get married, your partner actually becomes your immediate family and who you've known to be your immediate family, which for us is defined by our parents and our siblings. They're now your extended family. I remember hearing that and being like, no, no, no. My my mom and dad and my brother Frankie, like that's my immediate family. That's, you know, who I lived in the house with. Like that's that's what we think. Right. And I sat with it for a while because at first it felt uncomfortable and then I started to think about it more and think about the decisions that you make in a marriage. And you think about you're going to be starting your own family and having your own babies. And it was shown to me in reality so quickly that, yes, me getting married is me starting my own family and changing who my immediate family actually is. And that doesn't mean that you love what was once your immediate family any less or that's a different form of love. It doesn't at all. But what it does require is for you to build those boundaries around your own unit of your marriage so that everyone else isn't controlling it for you. I'm not even sure if this was funny or sad. The fact that you were told and needed to be told that maybe not your husband, but your kids should come first and you found that idea uncomfortable, that's just wild. It kind of shows you how much women today are being taught to be wives or mothers. That idea should have never been told to you by a friend and take you by surprise. That should have been told to you by your mother. The state of dating heterosexual men is abysmal. Abysmal, I say! I give up. I'm not doing it. I'd rather just die alone without the stress, without the boredom, without someone coming into my space and making a mess, making it even more of a mess because I'm already a mess, but it's going to be worse when they're here. I can't take it anymore. No more. Then don't. You can just stop dating. But you're complaining about dating, as in it's hard. And at the same time, you're complaining about the end result of dating, ending up living with a man. That's kind of the whole point of dating. So if you don't want to end up living with a man, stop dating. And then you can also stop complaining. It could even give you enough time for you to stop being a mess. Mm, mm, mm. And they're both boys. Mm. When he's smiling while texting his guy friends. Well, he could be in love with his guy friends as you're insinuating or maybe his guy friends are just funny. Men can be funny, you know? My question is, why do you hate your boyfriend having fun so much? In a world that celebrates and praises the Hak Tua type girls, remember this. I wish I could talk to every single woman and every single girl and tell you how valuable and how you're made so preciously in God's eyes and you are worth so, so much more than that in a world that just values that so highly. It breaks my heart that young, impressionable girls are maybe seeing this and thinking that's what they need to do to get the male attention that they want. Just remember the man that God wants you with is gonna want a pure woman as well. So I went on my first hinge date since being single and it was terrible. It was just not my vibe. The guy was super, super nice, nothing against him, but the date was just not for me. So we met up at a brewery and when I arrived, he was drinking a vodka soda and asked me if I wanted something to drink. I decided to match his energy and ordered a vodka soda too. Uh, we're making small talk for about five minutes and then he says, okay, I think the vibes are good enough. Like, let's go do something fun. Let's go to mini golf. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go to mini golf. That sounds fun. Why am I listening to this? The guy was super, super nice, but the date was terrible because vibes. That pretty much says everything about dating in 2020. If she's not vibrating, the date is terrible. Okay, but no, tell me why every single time, every single time I try to give a guy a chance, this sh happens to me every time. It's the same old story. Things are going great. I'm dating this guy. He's buying things, leaving things at his house so I don't have to pack a whole ass bag. He's doing the thing. Okay? Okay, things are great. So why is it every single time I get invested, the switch up happens? All of a sudden, we're arguing. I don't know why, but I bring things to the table like, hey, I didn't feel comfortable with this, or this made me feel like this, using words, using language, because I love to communicate. Maybe it's a lot, but like, if you don't have communication, how can you have a healthy relationship? You don't and you didn't. First of all, you're not as good at communication as you might think. Not when you start your own video with okay, but no, or with something like no, because. And second of all, you've been on a couple of dates and you slept together. That doesn't make it a relationship. That is pretty much what doesn't make it a relationship. 
later that day at home. Oh, I forgot to tell you, but I think there's something wrong with the car. Eh, it's pulling a little bit to the right. I'm not sure if to laugh at the part that she waved back or to be impressed by her driving skills. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.